In our last video, we tackled the basic network topologies, point-to-point, -point, bus, and ring. Now, the ideal network topology depends on each business's size, scale, goals, and budget. The layout of a network has a direct impact on network functionality. Selecting the right topology can improve performance and data efficiency, optimize allocation of resources, and reduce operational cost. So today, we are diving into the advanced and practical stuff. Star, Tree, Mesh, and the Hybrid. Star topology is the most common network arrangement due to its flexibility and ease of management. In a star topology, all devices are connected to a single central device, often a hub, switch or router. The central device acts as a communication hub, relaying data between the connected devices. Each device has its own dedicated cable or wireless connection to the central hub, creating a star-like pattern. Think of a bicycle wheel where the central hub is connected to each spoke. In a star topology, the central device, such as the hub, switch or router, is the hub of the wheel. And the spokes represents the individual cables connecting to each device. So when a device wants to send data to another, it sends it to the central hub, which then forwards the data to the correct recipient. The central hub manages all communication and traffic flow in the network. Each device has its own dedicated point-to-point -point connection to the central hub. Adding or removing devices is relatively simple as it only requires connecting or disconnecting the respective cable. Star topology is incredibly user-friendly. Setting it up, adding or removing devices and troubleshooting are all fairly straightforward. Plus, each device gets its own dedicated connection to the central hub, which means smoother, faster data transfer. The hub also acts as a central command center, making it easy to monitor and manage network traffic. Even if one device malfunctions, the rest of the network devices keep working as if nothing happened. Due to its flexibility and ease of management, Star Topology is a popular choice for many network applications. Now, no network topology is perfect and Star Topology has its own trade-offs. The most notable is its dependence on the central hub. So if the hub fails, the entire network goes down. It's a single point of failure. Additionally, the hub's capabilities can become a bottleneck limiting the overall speed and performance of the network. And since each device needs its own cable to connect to the hub, the distance you can span is limited by the cable length. Despite these limitations, the start topology's advantages make it most popular choice for a wide variety of applications. For instance, your home Wi-Fi network is a classic example of a start topology. Your trusty router sits in the middle, connecting all your devices from your laptop to your smart refrigerator. But it's not just for homes. Star topology is the go-to for most office networks too. You'll find Ethernet cables fanning out from a central switch, connecting desktops, printers, and all sorts of gadgets. Star topology strikes a balance between simplicity, performance, and reliability, making it the go-to network design for many situations. Tree topology is a hybrid design that combines the best of both star and bus topologies which we saw earlier. A central root node, often a powerful switch or router, acts as the trunk of the tree. From this route, multiple branches extend, each connecting to secondary hubs or switches. These secondary hubs, in turn, have their own branches connecting to individual devices or even other low-level hubs. Data transmission in a tree topology follows a hierarchical path. A device sends a data to its parent node, which then forwards it up the tree until it reaches the root node. The root node then directs the data down the appropriate branch passing through the necessary hubs until it reaches the intended recipient. Tree topology offers some key benefits. First off, it's easy to expand. Think of it like adding branches to the growing tree. Need more devices? Just plug them into existing nodes. Secondly, the hierarchical structure keeps things organized. It's like having a family tree of your network, making it easier to manage and troubleshoot. And if one branch has a problem, it usually doesn't affect the rest of the network similar to how a single SIG branch doesn't take down the entire whole tree. However, tree topology can get a bit complex as it grows and the central root node is a crucial point. If it fails, the entire network can go down, much like a tree losing its trunk. Plus, if too much traffic tries to go through the root node at once, it can create a bottleneck, slowing down the whole network. Despite these trade-offs, tree topology is a solid option for large enterprise networks that need a bit of structure and organization. Universities and college campuses often use tree topology to connect buildings and departments. It's a good choice if you anticipate your network growing over time 
and you want the flexibility to easily add new devices. Mesh topology is like a web of interconnected nodes where data can flow along multiple paths to reach its destination. Imagine a group of friends where everyone is talking to everyone else simultaneously. If one person leaves the conversation, the others can still chat without interruption. That's the power of mesh network. Multiple connections ensure that communication continues even if one link fails. It is a network architecture designed for maximum resilience and reliability. And there are two main types of mesh topologies. In full mesh, every device has direct connection to every other device. This offers the highest level of redundancy but can be complex and expensive to implement. In a partial mesh, some devices are fully connected while others are only connected to a few key nodes and this strikes a balance between redundancy and cost effectiveness. Mesh topology is well suited for critical applications where downtime is not an option. Some examples include military and defense networks where communication must be maintained even in challenging conditions or wireless mesh networks which are used to extend Wi-Fi coverage over large areas providing seamless connectivities or even in case of smart cities where mesh networks can support interconnected infrastructure such as traffic lights, smart meters and surveillance systems. Mesh networks practically have a built-in backup plan for every connection. Plus, they are pretty good at fixing themselves. If one path breaks, they automatically find a detour like a GPS rerouting you around the traffic. Mesh network also scale up easily. If you want to add another device, just connect it to a few others and it becomes part of a chatter. And because data isn't just flowing down a single path, they tend to be pretty secure. But building a full mesh network where every device connects to every other device can get expensive, especially as you add more gadgets. And setting it all up can be fairly complex. Sometimes you might even get multiple copies of the same message, but with some clever algorithms, that's usually not the big deal. All right, now that we have explored some of the basic network topologies, let's dive into more advanced concepts. Hybrid topology. Hybrid topology is exactly what it sounds like a combination of two or more different topologies. For example, you might combine a start topology for its centralized management with a ring topology for its resilience, creating a hybrid that offers both easy control and fault tolerance. Or you could mix a bus topology simplicity with a start topology's reliability, resulting in a network that is both easy to set up and resilient to failures. Which is why hybrid topologies come in many flavors, depending on the specific needs of the network. For example, in star ring hybrid, it combines the centralized control of star topology with redundancy of a ring topology. A star bus hybrid integrates the simplicity of bus topology with the reliability and fault tolerance of a star topology. So by combining the strengths of different topologies, you can optimize network performance for different tasks. You can leverage the benefits of different topologies without incurring the full cost of implementing each one individually. Hybrid topologies are often found in larger, more complex networks that need to accommodate a variety of needs and requirements. They are particularly popular in enterprise networks where different departments or locations may have different networking needs.